Hello everyone and welcome to the Words Ed tutorial. I'm going to have a link for downloading this program here. Um, it's got several different uh, functionalities that have been added to it that the original version that you can find on the forums doesn't have. Um, and I'll get into those later. Um, this might be a, a sort of series. Um, uh, whenever I get around to making it, I'm not really super organized or anything, but I will have, like I said, a link to download this in the description. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So I'm going to go File, New, Bam. Now I got rid of all the stuff from my old project there. So under here, we're not going to get to uh, all of these tabs today. We're probably going to do Channels, Adverts, and Distribution for now. Um, so underneath Channels tab, we have our Channels box. And you can add a channel here, and you can add as many channels as you want. You can also remove a channel. Let's just keep two for now. So, um, over here you'll notice at the top that there's a GUID for each channel. They're, they're each different and unique for every time they're generated. Um, and you can use those for modding purposes. Um, underneath that, we have our name, which is going to be the display name for our channel. So let's say this is a radio station named KBYZ. Um, underneath that, we have our frequency, which automatically defaults to 100.0 um, as its frequency. Now, uh, you want to be careful with how these are set. If it's set too low, then it's not going to show up on specific devices. And um, that's going to be something for uh, another day that I talk about, but let's just assume um, that we want to do 93.8. Now you can't just type 93.8. Um, you got to type 93.8 and then type two zeros and then remove the decimal point. And there you have it. So now this is always going to use 93.8. So underneath frequency we have category, um, which we have radio, television, military, amateur, bandit, and emergency. So radio, this, what this determines is what uh, it'll show up as a preset on certain devices. So if it's set to radio, it's always going to be a preset on the boomboxy, uh, stereo kind of radios. Um, yeah. So underneath that, we have start script. Now, to mess with that, um, if we don't have a start script... Um, nothing on this channel is going to play. There won't be any content in it. So let's go down to our scripts tab here and we'll add a script and we'll give it a unique name like day zero. And we'll set that as our start script. And you'll see right, it pops up right there. And just like before, our channel, um, their script also has a unique GUID which you can use for modding purposes. Um, underneath uh, the name, they have the options to minimum loop and maximum loop it. Um, I don't really mess with this much, but essentially uh, each of these numbers represents a day. So if you wanted it to play more than one day, but the same, you wanted this script to fire the same time again tomorrow, um, you would set this to be whatever number you wanted it to be. If you wanted it to be a whole year that it broadcasts, it just keeps repeating for the whole year you can set it to 365. So, um, but that's not going to do anything unless it has an exit option. So let's just add one of those really quick. And we're going to set it to exit to itself with a 100% chance. This goes from 0 to 100. Um, and we're going to keep the delay 0 so it fires immediately after um, the first script is ended. If we wanted to maybe make it wait one day, we could. Let's actually change this to be just one for now. So it'll play two days in a row, but we're not going to really actually show that because it just takes too much time. So now this is great and all. We have a script, but there's no content in it. So let's click on our script and let's add a broadcast. Now you'll see down at the bottom there's a default duration and it defaults to six hours. Over here, um, on our broadcast, you'll notice that um, it also has a GUID on the bottom. This is for our whole broadcast. And uh, over here it says time, and there are four numbers, two blue ones and two orange ones. The blue ones mean when the broadcast becomes available to be listened to, and the orange ones mean when it's no longer available. Now, Project Zomboid um, uses a day zero when it's radio stuff. So day zero means this is the very first day that you are in the game. 
so anyway, what this this time thing means is when it's available to be listened to and um, when it's no longer available. And we use a 24-hour clock and a, a day zero. So day zero is the very first day in game, and every subsequent day is represented by a new number being added to this. So like day, the second day would be day one and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's click this button to add some lines. And you'll see that little text box show up here, and you can type in whatever you want, like whatever you want. You name it. I'm your girl. Now, this is great and all, but when you notice that the text is black. Um, that's how it's going to display in game since we didn't set a voice for this. So let's go over here to our voice tabs and add a new voice. We'll make it red, and we'll add a friend voice that will be blue. And over here now, we can select which color uh, the voice is. Sweet. Now, um, with our current duration set to 6 a.m., uh, from, from midnight to 6 a.m., we're not actually going to see this broadcast, so let's set it to last for the whole day. So, 23 hours and 30 minutes. And just like that, we have uh, a broadcast that lasts anywhere between midnight and uh, um, nearly midnight of the next day. And, um, yeah, we got three lines of text that'll show up. Now let's do some stuff to make this even fancier. If you control click, um, control right click a broadcast line, you can bring up the player effects window. Now what this does is it allows you to influence the Moodles and everything uh, and skill points that this gives. So let's say that um, this makes you not bored. So we're going to have it minus one boredom. And we'll close that, and you'll see that when you have an effect there, you can click on it, and it'll be highlighted, and it'll tell you what's there. And let's add in uh, a couple of these, I gotta let you know, aren't used. Um, morale and fear, um, drunkenness, pain, and uh, sanity and sickness are disabled. Um, but now you'll also notice there's like these skill point ones. So let's say this one will give you 10 electrical points. And after that, let's have it give you panic for no reason. Just cuz. Very good. All right, we got one whole thing. I bet you're excited to try this out and put it in the game. But before we do that, let's make a TV station. So TV stations are kind of like radio. Um, my TV station, except the frequency is going to be a three-digit number from 200 to around 300, and uh, it's not like an exact science. You have to play around with the numbers and figure out which ones are, are being used. Um, I think you can find that out on the Project Zomboid wiki, which uh, frequency each TV station is, but you want the category set to television. So we're going to create a start script here, and we're just going to click on our script and add a new script, and we'll just type some stuff in here. Hello. Hello. And then we'll say, I said hello first. And then we'll say, no you. And then Red will say, real mature. Cool. So, now another neat trick to know, um, if you don't want to add in all the boredom and stress debuffs yourself, you can hold shift and right click on any broadcast line, and you'll see it added a bunch of highlights to this. Now, if we check, it'll have uh, stress debuffs and sometimes uh, boredom debuffs. There we go. And those will play on the relevant lines. Sweet. So, now, without further ado, let's save this, and we're going to call this Test Radio 2. We'll save that file there, and now, we're going to go to our distributions and create a new version. Otherwise, it won't uh, show in-game. 
Oh, one, one last thing. We're going to go to adverts today. And we're going to add an advert category, and we're going to call this TV adverts. We're going to add a broadcast. Hello. Now, let's say something more different. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, buy a pina colada today. And then Blue is going to chime in, because it's going to rain. Sweet. And we'll just add some uh, effects to that broadcast. And now, let's go to our TV station, our TV script, and over here, where it says adverts, we can append an advert to play after this. And we'll see right there, it says TV adverts. So we'll hit save, and we'll save it again. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to where we saved this, and we're going to copy this XML file. And we're going to go to our Zomboid Mods, where I have a test radio set up. And in Media Radio, we're going to paste our radio XML there. And now that we have that, we're going to try it out in game. Now to do this, we're going to have to enable our mod. Uh, well, I don't need that one on. Let's see. Test radio, it's enabled. Let's go back. Well, cool, cool, cool people were in the game. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to spawn in a radio and a TV so we can check our radio broadcasts that we printed. So let's do that really quick. Um, we'll spawn a radio black and a television. Now, let's turn on our radio. We'll notice that it didn't seem to populate. Oh, wait, there it is. KBYZ. Let's tune in. Whatever you want, you name it. Got 10 electrical. I'm your girl. Got panicked. Sweet. Now, let's turn that off. Now, that works. And let's try our My TV station. Turn that on. Hmm doesn't seem to play anything. We might have missed the broadcast. Sometimes it will uh, play the broadcast um, if you spawn in an area where another TV that had also had the TV on. So don't get too bent out of shape if it doesn't work right away. Um, sometimes it takes multiple tests. But we did see that we got our radio station working. So that is a thumbs up from me. Alright, see you guys in the next tutorial.